What's up guys and thank you for joining Today we're gonna talk about the ban of Yanmega and Sorark and um, Let's just talk about them. They were banned this Friday actually, so I'm a little late with this uh, They were banned at the same time that uh, Mowal was uh, Banned obviously and I just didn't get around to it Because obviously there's these Pokemons are not Pokes that I usually use. I am very aware of them but felt that they were rather cheap and by default avoided using them so not to you know give myself a pat on the shoulder because I didn't use them because I actually did try on Mega at once but I really felt that um, the playstyle that these guys introduce and uh, benefit in is not the playstyle that I'm playing so they're actually very good Pokemon and uh, I can't see why they are too strong for uh, well, let's face it, for the RU. RU is full of big threats, and I think Yan, both Yanmega and Sorark did good work there, and were definitely like top tier Pokemon there. And just to be honest here, I actually felt that Yanmega was going to stay. Oh, I'm joking. That, that's encouraging. That's how much I care about their ban. <laughs> nah, but really, I do care, because I didn't. I didn't feel like Yan Mei was going to go away, really. He has problems, and uh, both Bastiodon and Abomasnow with Soundproof can actually deal with it really well. Of course, Air Slash till, still does a lot of damage to Abomasnow, but that's real about it. Uh, the Bug Buzz won't work that well either. And of course, its abilities are pretty much what makes this poke, and of course, the special attack of what is it, 116, something like that, something real outrageous. Uh, it hits super hard, and uh, got ability. Uh, well, got access to the ability speed boost, which obviously takes away its biggest like weakness, and uh, makes it faster than anything else. Which is not a weakness. You got 95 base, but with 95 base, you can outspeed anything without priority, of course, which makes this Pokemon a really, really big threat. And I see why people had such a huge problem with it. Other than that, I mean, you can run Tinted Lens, and by that, going with Specs, and get that uh, neutral Bug Buzz, even though uh, it persisted. So, yeah, I get that. I get the threat. I do get it. And uh, still feel that um, it was manageable, but I do recognize the problems with it, but not as much as Sorark. Actually, I have run to Sorark sometime, and... Uh, felt that that was much tougher to deal with because of the... Well, because of the illusion, because the whole gimmick of the Pokémon itself, it's not really that strong of a Pokémon, and saying that's going to get a lot of you fired up, but uh, hear me out here. Sorark doesn't provide, you know, the biggest, like, both attack or special attack boost in itself, but the illusion makes it much tougher to deal with. What really makes this Pokémon is, of course, the player that uses it. And what I mean by that is that it is up to the player that uses it to make sure that the illusion is preserved, you know, that you go through those U-turns, that you do moves that other Pokémon in that team could use. I mean, look at that, its stats overall, it got very, very, like, very shitty, shitty base stats when it comes to both the HP, defenses and special defense, being both 60. So that is like... That is a 2-hit KO from almost anything, and can actually get one shot by a good Mac Punch. But if you don't, if the opponent don't see that it's a Sorark, then it's 105 in base in attack, and 120 special attack, and really good speed in 105. Uh, you can actually keep momentum and doing good, like, um, ship damage. And you can actually finish off a poke if you got the opportunity with both being access to Flamethrower and get access to uh, Sucker Punch, Knock Off. Um, it can actually keep a good momentum, and uh, yeah, of course, it, it is not a switching Pokemon. It is a poke you bring out and lure the poke to um, do something else. I think the toughest time I had against a Sorark was against a guy that used uh, Toxic Croak because they had similar moveset. I guess um, the only thing that differentiated what was that uh, Toxic Croak had Vacuum Wave, if I correctly. Other than that, they shared. Pretty much the same moveset, both being with Focus Blast, and of course the Sorark had Flamethrower. But you know, being that I had a Psychic Poke, you know, I can pretty much 
kill myself with. Uh, I was actually going for like psychic and stuff like that, and obviously being the dark type, it completely walled me. And I thought it was the toxic rogue that was gonna get one shot at. So one of my roughest game like ever, and I think as a result, I really started to hate Sorark. But that's really about it. I mean, like I said, there I. I have some huge respect for Sorok as a Pokemon, and I see why all you players wanted it out of there. I actually felt that Sorok, how to put it, it did well in RU, as in it could go toe, toe to toe with a lot of common threats there, and I didn't feel like Sorok dominated as much as the player that used it dominates. And I'll try to find the right word here, but a lot of good predictive players are now forced to go to Yu Yu, which are a savage land for sure, and Sorok will probably not do that well there because it's it's very outnumbered. Uh, but as I said, I do get why it's banned, and it is because it created momentum that all you players and actually few I'm gonna say NU players too um, really hate. When a Pokemon is strong enough to um, the opponent not benefiting from uh, blocking and stalling. And I really feel that Sorog brought that, you know, that wall breaking ability, and as a result, uh, opened up a lot of games. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see a lot of Explode now. I'm just telling you guys right here now Scrappy Explode is back for sure now. So, anyway, what do you guys think? Uh, is there something that I missed? Is there something that you're going to talk about or missing? From the RU, or is it a new threat that now can uh, can dominate now that both Yan Mega and Sorok is gone? I will think for once that uh, I actually think that Glade can be a top tier now on in RU because of the, because you get much more momentum and it's not blocked by like, oh the dark type Sorok. But we got Shiftry in RU too. But yeah, you guys, you know what? Get nuts on this. Um, I love to read what you guys think of this current ban. And uh, other than guys, you know, thank you as always for watching and have a good day, right guys? Bye.